how to make 5K an hour wholesaling real estate. Guys, it's Rick Ginn, and in this video, I'm gonna break down my simple process to easily accomplish making the 5K, and better yet, I'm gonna give you my actual blueprint plan so you can just copy it so you don't have to do this all alone. But before I get into it, listen, make sure you do me a favor before we get into it. Make sure you smash that like button, you hit that subscribe notification button to continue to receive the absolute best information on wholesaling today. So before before I get into my actual blueprint, most of you that are watching this are probably just getting started out in wholesaling, and that's great. We all have to start somewhere. Now, what you lack in experience, I'm gonna teach you the two things that you can easily make up and overcome your lack of experience. The first thing you have to understand, because you lack experience, you have to make up for it in quantity. You actually have to 10 times whatever you think you're gonna need for leads because that's what's gonna take because you lack the experience talking to homeowners for the motivation. The reality is the more people you talk to, the more you're gonna get through this journey and you're going to automatically pick up the experience. But don't think you can pick up the experience without actually speaking with a ton of homeowners. The more quantity you do, the more your confidence will shoot up and the more experience you will gain. The other thing you have to do is you have to bring a great attitude to wholesaling. Why? The reality is that if you have a great personality and you're always trying to help out the homeowner, you have a shot. Now, whatever you lack in experiences, people will often overlook it if you have an incredibly gifted, great attitude. Now, if you don't have experience and you got a poor attitude, you will not succeed in wholesaling. It's guaranteed. So make sure you up your quantity, 10 exit, and make sure you bring a great attitude to the plan I'm about to give to you. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create leads. So the first thing you want to do is formulate your list. And your list is just a giant list of people we call prospects that might have the potential for selling you a home at a discount price. So we're looking for smoke because where there's smoke, there's fire. And instead of just randomly going all over the internet and just calling strangers, we have to have a highly targeted list. So I'm gonna give you a couple ideas to quickly put a list together. Don't overthink this because these are tried and true techniques. Number one, driving for dollars. Just get in your car and go look for ugly houses. If you want more details on how to do this, go to freewholesaling.com, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's really simple. You don't need a course on this. Just drive around in the areas you look to invest in and look for ugly houses. Look for houses where the windows are boarded up, the grass is really tall, there's a blue tarp on the roof. Odds are there's an issue with that house and that is a prime place to find a great wholesaling deal. Number two on the list, government list. And these are lists that you actually can get for free, but you're gonna have to go out and earn these lists and you're going to have to work to get the list. Let me give you an example. Probate's a great place to start at your local county court level. Evictions, pre-foreclosures, tax delinquencies, water shutoffs, fire damage properties, and let's not forget code violations. That's gonna be at your city or county level in the building department. Just go out and find where it's located. But guys, all these lists I just mentioned, they're all in freewholesaling.com, is these people, something's happened in their life where they get on these lists where the government is trying to take action to correct an issue, and if they don't, there's a huge financial penalty and possibly a foreclosure on the house. So a lot of times people don't let their houses go in disarray, avoid paying taxes or stop paying their mortgages without some sort of underlying condition lost a job, a death of a loved one, financial hard times. There's so many things that can happen. And this is where you as a wholesaler can come in and help these people out and actually make money and create a win-win situation. The next list is FISBOs, which stands for For Sale by Owners. Now, I'm gonna warn you, these lists, these people are difficult, but the list is super easy to get. You get their name, you get their phone number, the property address, and ask what they want for the property. Now, don't put a lot of stock in what they're asking for these properties. Get on the phone and call them. You don't have to pay for skip trace services or anything, and just call them and just go through and look and seek their motivation. You want to find out 
what their MCTP is. And that stands for motivation, condition, time frame, and price. Freewholesaling.com. It's all in there. I can go in much more detail on that. And you have to get through a massive amount of quantity. Don't be shocked if you have to call thousands of people to find a few motivated sellers because the fact is these people are trying to sell without a realtor. They're trying to save costs. You need to find somebody within that list on the FISBOs that actually really want to sell their house and they're motivated to sell it quickly. Uh, most of them think they can do it on their own, but the reality is 95% of houses go with a realtor. So FISBO is a great place to start. Look on Zillow. You can look online. The lists are in list and they're actually free. They're easy up front, but keep in mind, you have to go through a massive quantity to get any success on this list. The other technique that I love and we teach in detail at freewholesaling.com is reverse driving for dollars. So if you go back to those government lists, specifically code violations, tax delinquencies, pre foreclosures and water shutoffs, you basically take a sticky yellow note, stick it on the door and say, I got a quick question about your house. Is this Rick? Put on your virtual phone number. And what you can do is map out your drive. If you want to learn how to do it electronically and save a ton of time, go to dmzac.com and you can basically go through Deal Machine and map out your entire route, or you can do it for free. It's not required, but it will save you some time and save you some gas. And then basically you go through and plug out a route. If you put out 50 notes and five people call you back, you just save 45 wasted conversations and you get five people that actually want to talk to you. It works really well. Don't overlook this technique. So once you have your list and you already know how to do reverse driving for dollars, you got to reach out to other techniques to talk to people. Now, the easiest way to market these people is cold calling by far is the most popular and it's the fastest way to get a deal. What you have to do is look up the property owner's information. Once you have their name, you can go to truepeoplesearch.com and you can look up their phone number and just call them and see if there's interest in selling their property. The other popular way is SMS texting. Why? Because it's massively scalable and if you're a one person operator, it works really well. You do have to pay some fees, but you can check that out if you wanna go and do it that route. And remember, earlier I mentioned reverse driving for dollars. All three of these are the most popular techniques for you get a deal. Remember, I'm trying to get you a deal in the least amount of time possible, to earn you the 5K an hour. This is the correct way to do it. Now we're moving on to the next phase is where you're actually gonna write an offer and that all the contracts are in freewholesaling.com, so don't panic, go under the contract section. But at this point, I want you to understand, it's like, how do I make an offer on it? It's simple. You have to make offers on motivated sellers. How do I know about motivated sellers? You have to ask them the questions MCTP and find out if there is some sort of pressing issue for them to sell the house, if they want to get rid of it, they have got anxiety about the house, whatever it is, and then you're going to make an offer. So you can easily go online and look at the valuations of these properties. I'm not going to go over it in this video. It's really simple. Between Trulia, Zillow, and all these other things, you can use props stream, use back it's endless. Go to listaria.com, get a seven day free trial period. Once you've figured out if the house is worth $150,000 and it really doesn't need a lot of work, but it's a little bit run down, make a simple offer. Now, the mistake most of you make is you try to get a yes on your first offer. I teach you the opposite way to do it. You actually want to get a no on your first offer. It's called the go for no. Ulrich, why do you want to get rejected? Number one, you want to expect rejection up front and then the rejection leads to a counter. And once you have a counter offer, that's when a true negotiation in real estate starts. It never starts on the initial offer because you've showed your cards first. So instead of you showing what you really want to pay for the house, put in an offer you know it's going to get turned down. So it's worth $150,000. Put an offer at $90,000 and just be quiet. Oh my God, Rick, I'm going to get rejected. That's the point. You get rejected and then they give you a counter offer. And a lot of times the counter offer will come with incredible intel. Rick, I can't take less than $95,000. I talked about this with my wife. She's going to freak out anything less than that. Boom. I just offered you a low number. You countered to me now we have a place to negotiate and you're well on your way to getting the best offer possible. Go for no on your first offer because it will get you a better result on buying a wholesale deal. Now, after that, you've got to go out and find cash buyers. Finding a cash buyers is actually really, really simple. You can go in Facebook groups, look in that particular market and hunt for cash buyers. You can pull them on public record. You can go to title companies. You can go to listrei.com or you can use realtors that represent cash buyers. There's a ton of cash buyers out there. And listen, when you get a cash buyer is you've got to be direct and to the point. You be polite, but find out what areas they're buying, what price ranges is and find out 
if they have actual money to buy the properties. If you have an actual deal, you have to require a proof of funds. Why? Because everyone will tell you there's a cash buyer. Give me 10 people tell me they're a cash buyer. Maybe two or three are actual cash buyers. The other are want to be wholesalers and you do not want to do business with them. So when you talk to a cash buyer, respect their time, gather their intel because they will teach you what areas to look for properties, what price points to be, but get to the point because you need to spend your time with the motivated sellers, but you will need the cash buyers to be able to sell your contracts. So the last one I'm gonna leave you here with is a little bit of a bonus for you to make 5K an hour in the wholesaling business. And it's a little known technique called networking. That's right, networking works in all businesses, wholesale is not the exception. So the first thing I want you to do is go out and find as many realtors as possible that you can talk to. And the key with realtors is setting them up whenever you find a property that needs work or that's ugly or anything like that, before you list it, call me and I might be able to buy it from you. I can pay you on both sides or possibly relist it with you. That gives them an incentive to actually take a lower offer. They don't have to mess around with it on the market because they don't know how to work with cash buyers and it is a burden hand for them and that's why it's a win situation. Also with the realtors, if they have an expired listing or a difficult seller that they can't get it sold and they're getting ready to have an expired contract, that's a great time for them to accept an offer from a wholesaler like you. I don't like to use the word wholesaler around realtors, just use the word cash buyer or real estate investor. The next thing I want you to do is go to your local title company. They have a plethora of information of who's buying in the area, who's selling, what's going on, what deals fell out of contract and what areas are really hot and the price points that are working. Make sure you get information from your title company. I get tons of deals from my local title companies because they have a great pulse because they're involved in so many transactions in your market every month. Don't forget about potential JV partners. How do I find JV partners? And JV is just short for joint venture. You can actually do business with other ethical wholesalers. You just gotta make sure it's an equitable split. If I'm good at finding motivated sellers and you're great at finding cash buyers, we can put a synergy together. Remember, whoever finds the motivated seller typically is going to control what the terms of it are. But understand, even if you have a robust cash buyers list, you can still make extra money with plenty of wholesalers. Where do you find these wholesalers? Honestly, you can find them online. You guys know how to do that. There's plenty of groups available. You can also go to Wholesaling Houses for Real. We got tons of wholesalers in there. But honestly, going to your local RIA, which stands for Real Estate Investors Association, is a great place to find other wholesalers, network with like-minded people, and put potentially find cash buyers and JV partners, guys. Do not overlooking networking. It works really well. And if you use my blueprint plan, you can easily dominate, make 5K an hour. It's all about the highest and best use of your time. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna use this blueprint and let me know if you're using all these techniques to make your wholesaling business earn you 5K an hour. If you truly get efficient at this, 5K an hour is a no brainer. And guys, if you got value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button. You hit that subscribe notification button to continue to receive the best information on wholesaling. Guys, I appreciate your time. This is Rick and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.